Now for our next uh, presentation from John Faulkner, Managing Director of Cab Auto. And John, if uh, we're in supply chain, we're used to the customer giving, uh, starting us late and expecting us to finish on time. So if you can uh, try and keep the side off, please. That. Poison chalice. OK, uh, some of you may be thinking, well, who are Cab Automotive? We're a small company based in uh, Birmingham, in Tipton. And uh, I guess uh, in today's environment, uh, in this room, we're punching well above our weight. Um, I've been invited to uh, share our success story with you, and I'll take you on a short journey of the last uh, few years of Cab Automotive in a minute. We're uh, a privately owned business, formed in 2005. Uh, automotive interior trim is our uh, key product. We're uh, a £20 million pound operation this year, so quite small by comparison to some of, uh, some of you. We have, uh, on here it says 230 people. We counted again last night, it's now 240 since we wrote these slides. So we're, we're really growing very quickly at the moment. We're not just a just-in-time uh, plant. We're now one of the most diverse interior trim suppliers in the country. As an example, when we make a seat for Land Rover, we make 85% of that seat on-site from raw material. We metal weld, we powder coat, we cut seat fabrics, we sew fabrics, we make the moulded foam on site, and we assemble the complete seat. Um, this way, we can compete with some of the low-cost countries. There's no diesel expended in our supply chain, we just take in the raw materials and create the finished product. And uh, it certainly is a way to compete with, uh, with the low-cost areas. We're first tier supplier to uh, such names as Jaguar, Land Rover, Bentley, Aston Martin, and uh, some of the supercar manufacturers, one of which uh, was on the stage earlier on. We also supply Toyota and Honda through uh, blue chip first tier customers such as uh, Magna. Some examples of our products are uh, centre consoles, gear lever gators, carpets, load floors, parcel trays, headlinings, and complete seats. So much lower technology than perhaps you would have seen uh, on the stage prior, prior to this. Why are we here today? Why are Cab Automotive standing in front of you? Well, we're here to, because uh, I think we represent um, a success story as an SME growth, uh, with growth in the UK supply chain. Our success story is not without some excitement, though. And forgive me for going back uh, to those dark days of 2008-2009. Uh, uh, predicting the uh, impending doom, our bank, in their infinite wisdom, walked in on the 12th of December 2008 and withdrew 100% of our working capital. We had £50 left in the bank when they'd finished. Okay. Um, in January 2009, we came to a grinding halt as, a, as an industry. Our customers uh, stopped production, hence we stopped very quickly afterwards. Um, we didn't have deep pockets. We were a four-year-old company at this time but we truly believed that the industry was going to recover and that we were going to recover with them. Individuals within our business and our partners um, injected enough cash for me to set a course for some recovery. When steering defe defeat in the face, I demanded 100% uh, focus from 100% of our team, and I got it. Just a, a little bit about the foundations of the journey we took. My model is SQDCME in everything we do. Safety, quality, delivery, cost, morale and environment. They're the lifeblood of any successful business. Our workplace must be safe. Every person has the right to re return to their family in the evening um, uninjured and healthy. All of our processes must be stable. We're capable of delivering, we must be capable of delivering on time, every time. Our execution costs must be important to every single person in our business. We have many strategies to, uh, to maintain and morale is uh, just one of them. It's based on, uh, in cab automotive, it's based on everything we do and everything we say. I believe in uh, shadow of the leader. How I behave is how everybody else in my business behaves. Additionally, a lean philosophy, uh, which allows the whole team to engage, uh, will contribute and has done very successfully in our business. Young people are key to our, uh, as we've seen on the previous presentation, key to, to cab. We have uh, graduates, we have apprentices, and we have young people in their gap years on site at this moment in time. 
not all about doing the basics well. We've given our team the head to do their, to do, uh, their jobs without any internal politics, and that is really important. Ambition for the future, entrepreneurial spirit are all required in measured quantities, and this, I believe, is where we've set ourselves from our comp competitors. We've embarked on a sourcing strategy which has allowed to very significantly diversify our product range. We've bought equipment at fire sale prices. Unfortunately, many businesses in the UK have failed in, uh, in that period. And we've bought equipment, and it's bolted in on site at the moment, and some of that equipment um, we bought at 85% of its value, at, sorry, at 85% less than its value, and pays for itself in our factory today five times a week. Okay, so it pays for itself every single working day. Um, we've used talent where we haven't won orders, so we've brought people in even prior to winning uh, customer orders so that we can demonstrate our capability. And we've used any media uh, that we could do to draw awareness to our growth story. We've hit the news on TV 18 times in 12 months just about our growth story. This is the result. It's staggering for us. 13.5 million additional turnover within 18 months out of, if you remember, a 20 million turnover this year. Um, that's representing 65% growth. Since the recession hit us, we created an additional 120 jobs in an area of high unemployment in the West, uh, West Midlands. And we've got more to come. We've already won contracts with 14 new manufacturing programs going on in the factory at the moment, another £7 million worth of business. This will represent 125% growth since 2009. It's all about it's not all about those basic principles, but they do underpin everything we do. Ladies and gentlemen, UK manufacturing in cab automotive and in the SME manufacturing is alive and well in the UK today.